Hey, welcome back to Homegrown Country Home Place, friends. How y'all doing today? Well, y'all, today we're going to be doing some maintenance on this uh, Dutch West uh, wood stove here. This stove is about 17 years old. And it's the one that's got the uh, catalytic converter up in the top of it. And the uh, past three to four years, it hasn't been uh, working properly. Uh, sometimes smoking stuff wants to come out. So we're going to be replacing this ceramic uh, converter today catalytic with a uh, different type it's going to be the metal type and i'll show you the part number and also we're going to be uh, placing this black pipe here this is the original pipe when i installed this stove and it's lasted uh you know 17 years and it's still good just up at the top right up there it's got rust up there and that just came from about probably i don't know i, I just noticed over this past summer so i'm not really sure why it started rusting but we're going to go ahead and uh replace that pipe so i'm just gonna bring y'all along and show you how to do it all right there's that section out Hello, hello down there. Is anybody home? Hello down there. All right, y'all, next thing, we'll be taking this top off. And you see right here, you got a boat here. You got one here. On this side over here. You got one right there, right there. And uh, they're going to be, let me see here, I believe it's 7 16 It's a 13. Let's see. Yeah, 716, y'all. So I'm going to go ahead and take these out. I hope they don't break. Take your time. I might need to put some spray on it, Tosh. It's a little tight there. Oh, well, that net coming out of it. Let's see here. Now let's go back over here to this one. I may need to put some spray on this one because this one just a little snug there. All right, child, there you are. So I'm finna go get me some spray put on these boats because I don't want to snap one off and have to uh, drill and tap it out there. So I'll be back in a minute. Oh, I'm going to get my spray. Four boats out. And you see this top right here is rocking now. So I'm gonna lift up slowly on this. I've never taken this off. I'm not really sure what it's gonna look like or whatever, but I'm gonna lift it up here and take a look. And show you the bottom of that, y'all, so y'all can see that, what that looks like. Kind of crusty there. I'm gonna clean that off. Now, now I think this is some kind of like ceramic, like, cover or something right here and you see all this soot and creosote and stuff that's built up over over the years so i'm gonna go ahead and pick this up and try to take it outside without dropping in the floor let me see here put this light down i don't want to break this i'm not sure how fragile it is It's real lightweight, y'all. So, I'm gonna be careful with that, but that's expensive. I'm going to show them that converter there, Tasha, what it looks like. The catalytic. Thing looks rough, don't it? Yes. I hear this uh, ceramic converter light deal here. 
So we'll see here. Don't see how bad it stopped up. And this, you know, who knows? That could probably be cleaned out and uh, reused possibly. I'm gonna keep it and try to clean it up, but I, I'm gonna install the new one since I got it apart. This little gasket right there is tearing apart. The new one comes with a new gasket, so we ain't gotta worry about that. But look down here to show them that. Look how dirty that is, y'all. I'm not sure what that is. There's something right in there. I'm gonna have to get all this cleaned out, y'all, and uh, I'll bring y'all back when I get it cleaned up here so we can see what's going on right down in there. Look at it. Look at that, y'all. I just shook it, y'all. Look, it just it just broke, fell apart. So, yeah, I can't reuse this. This is like real brittle right here. So, that's what it looks like, y'all. It's a little honeycomb, ceramic like catalytic deal in it. It's falling apart. All right, I'll, I'll be Here's back with this, uh, this part number. It says Midwest Hearth, and uh, part number is MH-2M metal, six inch by two inch round. Uh, I purchased from Amazon, but it came from Midwest Hearth, and I can't remember what the price was on it. Y'all have to look up and see what current price is for this. But uh, here you go, Tosh. Show this camera. Let me open this thing. Now you can order the ceramic one that you no know, comes with it, you no know, the same type. But I decided to buy the metal because I figured it might last longer. And uh, here's the uh, gasket it comes with that we're gonna be wrapping around it. And there's some instructions here. I gotta read that, y'all. I'll read that off camera. Um, let me take this out, take a look at this here, see what it looks like. Let me get a light so y'all can see there. So that's what the new one looks like. It's made out of metal instead of the ceramic material. So this, hopefully this will last a lot longer and uh, so let me go ahead and get this gasket put on there and uh, I'll tell you what let me just show you real quick why we got this light on here show you this down here after we got it cleaned up this flap here opens up back and forth here and so I cleaned all up in here and underneath it there and uh, you see right here all this was all just packed in with all kind of ash and we cleaned that out real good and this is some kind of like air. Let me show you right here. This here controls the airflow. And I took this out, make sure this wasn't stopped up in here. And I cleaned that. It had just a little crisp soap. But anyway, the airflow comes from there and it pulls it, say, right here, all these little vent holes. So you want to make sure all these are clean. And mine is clean. You can see it from the inside if you take that out. You can see in here, make sure that's good and clean. Make sure all these, right down here, all these holes right down in here is clean. That's where the uh, air is, uh, the smoke and stuff, uh, you know, come through. So all this got to be real good and clean here. And if this is stopped up, you can't take this part out here and uh, clean it. But uh, I didn't have to do that. So I'll bring y'all back uh, once I get the gasket on that uh, other piece there. And we'll put it I'll back together. I'll put a little super glue on each side of it to hold this uh, gasket in place here. So I'm just gonna set it down in there. Now I'm gonna get this uh, ceramic, but ain't ceramic, it's uh, I guess they call it like a refractory. I think that's what they call it. I cleaned it out the best I can. If, uh, if I had it do it over, I mean, it's still, you know, usable or whatever, but I think I'd replace that so that's the original one, but it's still holding together out right now. But uh, it's something that you know I might have to replace down the road. I'm gonna go, go ahead and set that back in there real careful. I 
All right. So now I'm ready to uh, get my top put back on there and I'll bring y'all back whenever I get that done. Got the pipe installed. I put some screws right here in the sections right here. I used a four foot piece and a three foot piece. And uh, like I said, I secured it down here at the bottom. So we're good to go now. Uh, I looked at the other pipe that I took off and uh, it started rusting around the seams right here where you can't see it. So I'll probably say 15 years. Uh, we had up there about 17, but I say 15 years be the max uh, for this set of pipes. Unless, you know, I see something that needs to be replaced. I always, uh, every year, you know, I always uh, inspect my chimney, get up there, clean it. And uh, I clean it several times during, the, you know, the heating season. But uh, the main thing, I always inspect everything, make sure, e even during the season, I go around here at nighttime with a flashlight looking while everything's gonna see if I see anything and say no don't look right but you know using a wood stove you want to be real safe but uh this is just a real easy replacement I hope it might have helped somebody if you got one of these stoves um this is a large uh, model right here they had a small large and a extra large and uh I got this uh, middle row uh which was a large and uh, it's been a real good stove y'all and uh, I'll, I'll see about if I can put the model number of this uh, stove here in the description with the model number of that um, new uh, combustor that I put in there. All right, y'all. Well, I hope you enjoyed the video. Hope it's been informed to help you out there. Appreciate y'all coming along. And as always, friends, from my family yours, y'all have a blessed day. We'll see you later. Bye-bye.